drill sergeant. Drill number nine. Another nugget for a fiery trial. Jewels being collected by God. How real warfare begins. Again, I say, how real warfare begins. Most ministries who have fallen in recent times would not have fallen if they had not given some kind of place to the devil in their minds. Those who have fallen would be the very first to tell you that they left a door open for demonic attack. Let me tell you that again. They left a door open for demonic attack. Somewhere along the way, by not dealing with some unseen private area of their lives. Okay, Drill Sergeant needs to say this again. By not dealing with some unseen private area of their lives. See, nothing is hidden from God. You're just, you're just so confused if you believe that God does not know what you're doing. Demon spirits have absolutely no power to bring about destruction unless they can find an open door into a person's mind. If such an entrance into the mind can be located, then from this lofty position, evil influences and attacks can begin to be waged upon the individual. The Holy Spirit is sure to convict us of these areas and to urge us to repent and change before the devil builds strongholds in our thinking. Listen to me. Strongholds in our thinking. However, it is up to us to see that these open doors are slammed shut and closed forever. If we ignore the Holy Spirit's pleading and allow sin willfully permitted temptation or wrong attitudes to continue unconfessed and unchanged, we are leaving gaping holes through which the enemy will seek to undo us. Most spiritual destruction is avoidable. Can I say that again as a drill sergeant? Most spiritual destruction is avoidable. If we will reverently listen to the pleading of the spirit and obey his warnings to us. Again, demon spirits cannot destroy without an open door into a person's soul. And such an entrance can only be by, be given by way of permission. Have you permitted the devil in? Drill Sergeant, have you permitted the devil in? Evil forces may try to buffet and hinder us as they try to buffet and hinder the Apostle Paul, 2 Corinthians 12 and 7, and also 1 Thessalonians 2 and 18. But they cannot destroy you or me without first having something already wrong in us that they can latch hold of and twist to our destruction. The tendency of flesh has always been to blame personal failure on someone else or on some external circumstance that was beyond our control. Remember, it was Adam, the natural father of us all, who shifted the blame for his own moral failure to Eve, rather than acknowledge that he had committed sin when he ate freely of the forbidden fruit of the garden. Adam told God, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. That's Genesis 3 and 12. Shifting blame is as old as the Garden of Eden. Come on now. Likewise, it is an excuse to say, the devil made me do it. You are shifting blame when you assert, I failed because witches are praying against me. Furthermore, regardless of how many demon spirits have been assigned to destroy you, you must cooperate with their suggestions in order for temptation to overtake you and ruin your witness. Ultimately, you are responsible. Drill Sergeant, ultimately, you are responsible. Drill Sergeant, ultimately, you are responsible. 
this means you cannot shift the blame to anyone else. You cannot even shift the blame for your failure to demonic attack. In order for that demonic attack to work effectively, you had to cooperate in some way, either through deliberate cooperation or through negligence by refusing to deal with some unseen private area of your life. For instance, you can scream that the devil is after your money until you are blue in the face. But if you failed to balance your checkbook and were irresponsible in paying your bills, then you opened the door to that attack. Drill Sergeant, are you a shopaholic? Drill Sergeant, do you guard your money? Do you put your money in the hands of the Lord? Drill Sergeant, what are you doing with your money? You can declare that the enemy is attempting to afflict you with sickness, but if you abuse your body by eating wrong, overworking, and pushing your body beyond its capability, then you have opened the door for your body to be attacked. Similarly, you can cry out that your marriage is under attack, but if you speak harshly to your spouse, never spend any time with him or her, and have not made your marriage a priority in your life, then you have thrown open the door for the enemy to come and destroy your marriage. Drill Sergeant, are the doors open to destroy your marriage? Are the doors open to destroy your marriage? And the list goes on and on. Certainly there are genuine surprise attacks from the demonic realm that catch us off guard. Sometimes the devil really does attack our finances especially if we are using our finances for the kingdom of God. It is absolutely true that at times the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy a person's health. And it's similarly true that the enemy can come and try to orchestrate failure in a marriage. In my own ministry, the enemy has struck viciously to destroy me from time to time. I know the reality of genuine demonic attack. These attacks have usually come at critical point in our ministry when we were about to do something important in the kingdom of God. They were clear attempts to thwart the plan of God. See, the ministry has been thrust many a times into a financial combat zone. In a matter of days, sometimes you can find all your income dried up for some strange reason which we cannot always explain. No offerings coming into the ministry and partners stop writing and income just dries up. The enemy knew God was going to use something that you have to offer in a great way. And therefore, he wants to stop it before it ever gets into the hands of those people that will prosper from it and be blessed. Obviously, the enemy's attacks fail, and the power of the cross will always prevail. Did you hear what I said? The attacks of the enemy will fail, but God will always prevail. This is just a nugget on how real warfare begins. Drill Sergeant.